Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at some news around the NHL as we're hearing about some of the KHL players coming over to the NHL or a guy like Nikita Triampkin who is maybe going to come over officially stay in the KHL. So we'll be taking a look at some of those guys in this video. So we're going to start things off with Konstantin Okulov. Okulov is believed to be on the radar for the Seattle Kraken, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and Le Montreal de Canadiens. Now this is according to the fourth period, and this is a guy that could add some forward depth to an organization, and the Seattle Kraken may be a great spot here for him. And this kind of reminds me of what we saw a couple years back from uh, a KHL player that came over to the United States. Didn't work out so well for him. Uh, you may or may not know who I'm talking about. I actually forgot his name. It's the guy from New Jersey. And I don't know. That's the problem. It's I already forgot his name. He was that irrelevant with the Devils. Nikita Gusev. Thank you, guys. So Nikita Gusev came over to the U.S., played in the NHL with the expansion team, which was at the time the Vegas Golden Knights. Didn't work out so well, and he came over to New Jersey in a trade. So we could see a situation here where... Konstantin Okulov could go to the expansion Seattle Kraken, but like I said, the Maple Leafs and the Toronto Ma the Maple Leafs and the Canadians are also front runners for Okulov. I definitely butchered that name. I, I do apologize for that. So the other guy from Nick Dollywall of the Vancouver Canucks, a big insider for the Canucks. Nikita Trayevkin has signed a two-year deal to stay in the KHL, and he is no longer property of the Vancouver Canucks. Very disappointing here for the Canucks in that regard. A really solid guy, um, and he would have been a nice defensive guy to add to this team, and he unfortunately will not be there. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We will not see Trey Evkin in uh, Vancouver next season as he has stuck around in the KHL, but the good news is it still looks like Vasily Podkolzin is on schedule to come to the States, well, to come to North America to play in Vancouver with the Canucks. Moving on to Ilya Kovalchuk. So now that Ilya Kovalchuk has won the whatever trophy it is in the KHL, uh, he will be coming back to the United States or North America for that matter to play in the NHL next season. So we're seeing Kovalchuk once again pull this little move. You have to wonder at this point with his age and with how fluidly he moves throughout teams, you have to wonder if is this the best move? I don't know if that many teams are going to be in on Kovalchuk because of the situations that Kovalchuk has put some teams in, like the LA Kings and, I mean, more or less the Montreal Canadiens. So these are certain things where we could see Kovalchuk come back once again now that he's won the Kelly Cup or whatever you want to call it. I, I think that's the ECHL one, but whatever the hell it's called in the KHL, he will be coming back to the to North America, playing in the NHL, we will see what happens with Kovalchuk, but interesting, it seems like he comes back every couple years, and then he disappears, and then comes back, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a weird tale with Ilya Kovalchuk, but like I said, he could be coming back, so that is it for the KHL news, like I just want to do a recap, Okulov, Potentially, the Seattle Kraken, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Montreal Canadiens are in on Okulov, the forward, uh, who could add some depth to those teams. Ilya Kovalchuk could come to the NHL as soon as this fall once again, and he's probably going to look at some of, sim some of the similar teams that uh, he's been with in the past. I would have to think maybe the New York Islanders because of the connection with Lou, maybe a team like the Montreal Canadiens. He has that great relationship with Mark Bergevin and the Habs, and maybe he maybe looks at the Washington Capitals, you know, as a team to look at. But again, it's still a little bit far away to figure out exactly what team Kovalchuk is looking at, but we could see an offer here within the next week on Ilya Kovalchuk and Nikita Triampkin signs a two-year deal to stay over in Russia in the KHL, so we will not see Trey Emkin in Vancouver in the fall. So, guys, that is it for this video. If you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, you guys know what to do. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.